Hey everybody, thank you so much for choosing to watch Life's Journey. I'm Life, and on this channel we talk all about my journey with being a deliberate creator, purposely using the law of attraction, and how that led to my spiritual journey. I want to say thank you to each and every subscriber that I have on the channel right now. We just recently hit over 500 subscribers, and so I'm super excited. Like When I started this channel, honestly, I didn't foresee that this would happen. I didn't foresee that my channel would grow the way that it has and that people like people that I don't know would actually support me and want to subscribe to my channel and want to hear what I have to say. Like this was really just supposed to just be about my journey and you having you guys' support and having you like when you know to watch a video is one thing but to hit subscribe i think is major and so i'm thankful that you guys have chosen to do that and support this channel so on today's video we're talking all about my journey and just i'm just recapping my journey so far for everybody because i'm in it i'm in such a great place and I want to let you know that was the point of this channel is to let everybody know that it's possible to come out of where you're at. You know, because I started last, about last November-ish. It came kind of out of nowhere. I had went to sleep that night and actually I was crying when I went to sleep and I was, I was like just woke up out of my sleep at about 3 a.m. and something told me look up Law of Attraction random random okay so it's like look up law of attraction and i heard of it before and i actually had tried to use it a couple times you know and um ended up you know it ended up i just you know things just kind of go away you end up saying a phrase for a while and you end up forgetting all about it until you hear it again that's kind of how it was and so with when I looked up law of attraction I ended up I just embraced it from there I started really researching it looking into different people who subscribe to law of attraction you know and who are deliberate creators and I started to take on some of that so what I what I first started doing on this journey was positive self-talk you know I wasn't in a place where I felt worthy of anything honestly I, I didn't feel worthy of especially like having my hopes and dreams fulfilled like being a millionaire being uh, a youtuber I didn't feel worthy at that time and you guys can tell like if you go back to some of my first videos you can see the lack of confidence in me you can see that I was just still hurting I was still in a really bad place and I'm not saying I'm where I'm going to be, but I am a lot better than where I was. I had a cap on, on my success. And so realizing that was really the first step. Um, Self-love. You know, when I first started on this journey, I used to follow, well, I still follow her, um, Abraham Hicks, Esther Hicks, whoever you want to call her. And, you know, following Abraham led me to like, back in back in that time when I first started watching it was always like rest that's all Abraham would say rest if you don't want to go to work don't go to work if you don't want to do this do what makes you feel good and so I was like oh that's for me you know take a bath relax that's for me so I started doing a lot of that uh, and it got to be it got to a point where I felt like okay I enough relaxing because I got bills to pay you know what I mean so I had to start to balance that but most of that was just taking my time to start to love myself I would look myself in the mirror and talk to myself and tell myself how worthy I was and how um, how beautiful I was inside and out and things like that you know just things to build myself up and and start to really practice self-love and then uh, I started to practice gratitude more because it's not like I was ungrateful for where I was it was just well no yeah I, I was ungrateful that's that's true <laughs> it was about I was ungrateful you know because I wasn't looking around like okay I have a house I have a car I have I can breathe. I started getting to a point where I started thanking my bath water and thanking my drinking water. I just would focus on, thank, I'm thankful that I have my vision. You know, I've had surgery on both my eyes and so my vision could have easily gone away. Like, it makes me grateful to, that I ever had the notion to start taking on a bit of gratitude. 
instead of focusing on the things that I didn't have you know that was that was a difficult part for me let me know if you feel me like how did you start to change from a person who wasn't really grateful you're you know looking at that lack to a person who started to be more grateful let me know in the comments how you did that because with me like I said I would just focus on the smallest things I could and I'm like okay walking I have legs like I, I am really grateful for that you know like it had to dawn on me like wow I do love taking baths I'm thankful that I have hot water you know I'm thankful that my mom is still around my children are amazing people you know there's so many blessings that you can just sit and name like and I'm not gonna do that right now but that's the type of thing that I found myself doing a lot and those are the two main things like honestly I feel like everything else started to just line up after that then beyond that I started to meditate and meditation is a huge I mean once you get past the point of, of loving yourself and being grateful for things and realizing that you are capable of things like meditation some people think that meditation is only for people who are like you know Buddhists or gurus of this and that like meditation is for everyone I even have Violet my little one she's nine I even have her meditating sometimes you know I don't I don't try to like burden her with it because a, a child doesn't really want to sit you know sitting quiet like that too often but she understands why it's a good idea and I think that she's noticing that it feels good so that's a good thing because um, raising a child in this is 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 interesting uh, and I'll go more in depth into that because there's some things I want to share with you guys but that was one of the main things and then I started to do yoga I started to eat healthy and treat my body more fairly you know I stopped eating meat uh, I do eat shrimp again now I, I do eat a little bit of seafood again but you know with that that's the type of thing I really feel like do you like eat what makes you feel good eat what makes you feel good not what other people think you should be eating if you're a spiritual person so don't you know don't subscribe to what other people want to throw at you that's one thing I did too is I I stopped caring what everybody thought about me well to a degree because I, I still feel like that's something that I'm battling but to a degree like I stopped worrying about what other people thought about me there's people walking around looking at me crazy but um, you know I stopped worrying about what other people thought I just stopped I, I I just can't care I can't afford to care I don't have time what else so one of the main things that I've learned is that you are all that matters following your own intuition loving yourself being grateful for the small things that you do have that's that's key that's major that's one of the the biggest things I've learned but also a big thing I want you to know especially if you're in the beginning of your journey is I want you to know that this journey takes time you know um, some of us have been here before some of us are on our third or 30th lifetime and so just think of it that way think of it like wow I have a lifetime to get this right you know this it, it takes time there is no right or wrong just keep learning from your mistakes keep learning from your struggles look at your struggles and look at your problems as lessons that is the biggest thing that is the biggest thing because I feel like if I had been doing that before I wouldn't have been depressed but then think about it this way if I hadn't been depressed I wouldn't have woke up spiritually okay so that's that's the type of thing like it, it it's real it's so real when I tell you to embrace your struggles do it <laughs> do it because that is that is one key to keeping your vibe high once you you know if you're the type of person where you're like well I'm not look I'm not really on a spiritual journey 
I just want to manifest things. That's okay if you see it that way, but you're on a spiritual journey. If you know that you can manifest things, um, that's probably the beginning of your spiritual journey. But at the same time, it's kind of like, okay, that's fine, but you have to keep your vibe high. You have to vibrate out as the things that you want. You don't get what you want, you get what you are, right? You attract. This is in a this is a planet where we are all attracting constantly. There's nothing you can do about it. You can't turn it on and off. So all you're doing is you're purposely attracting now. You're changing your your feelings, you're changing your thoughts, you're changing how you act so that you can attract a better life. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you stopping by. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit subscribe so that you get notifications when I upload content. Also, if you've gotten some good nuggets out of this video or you think the channel is a place where you'd like to be or where your family might want to be, I want you to do your part. I want you to share this video on at least one platform or at least with one family member. And part of our journey is to share what we know. You can't unknow this stuff. And I think it's part of our duty to share the content and share the information. Whether it comes from me or not, if there's some good nuggets in it, share it. So there's so, so many so many light workers out there go hit them up and follow them all right and thank you so much for spending time here we'll see you next time